Okay, so hello there to all my UM Tech family. Uh, before I'm going to begin this video demonstration, let me first introduce myself. I am Daryl Hermasa Estelliore, a second year BS Medical Technology student, and today I'm going to perform a procedure that is used for the diagnosis of enterobius vermicularis infection, or the what we call the enterobiasis. So we have here a test uh, known as the scotch tape test or the what we call the Graham's test. So this test is used for the detection of enterobius vermicularis eggs to the patient. So uh, before anything else, there are few things that we need to consider in doing any laboratory procedure. Of course, first things first, we need to prepare all the materials exclusively needed for, uh, for the test itself. So we need to have the scotch tape, and the glass lights. And of course, we need to have a scissor for the preparation of, of the scotch tape strips. So we also need not to forget the laboratory um, PPS, or the what we call the personal protective equipment. Okay, so without causing you much delay, let's get started. Okay, so assuming that you already have the basics of the preparation of your PPEs or the personal protective equipment. Now let's move to the preparation of the materials that we need to have in the collection of your sample. So what you need to do now is to get a slide and a scotch tape. And so the next thing that you need to do is that you place the slide into the tape And then you cut the, the tape at a desired length. So make sure that you have an allowance for you to be able to, to pull it easier. And place it back at the back of, of the slide. So you pull the tape and place it on the other side or or stick it into the other side of of the slide so it looks like this as you can see or as you can notice both side of of the slide has a sticky part so this is what we need to have for the collection of the interobius vermicularis egg to the patient so I have here uh, two prepared slides so and this is what we need to have for the collection of the sample and so yeah let's move now to how we are going to collect um, the sample into the, the patient Okay, so in the collection process or in collecting the sample, aside from that we need to have uh, these materials for a proper collection, one thing that we need to consider is that uh, we, we need to make sure that we all have the, the PPS that we need to have because uh, interobious egg are highly contagious and we need an extra uh, precautions in order for us to, to avoid being infected with enterobiasis. Okay, so... So after the, you have all the materials that you need, you need including the, the materials for the collection of, of the sample, Next is that you need to prepare the patient. So assuming that this is our patient. So uh, in collecting the sample, uh, you, you, you make sure that the patient is in the comfortable position. So what you need to do now is that you need to get the slide with, uh, with the tape 
in it and then you use your hand you use one of your hand and then se separating the both the the buttocks of of your patient and then the next thing that you need to do is is to to place the slide for the collection of the the egg so you tap the slide into the side of the rectum so make sure that you do it multiple times in the right side and in the left side of your slide it looks like this and then the next thing that you need to do is to is to tape it into the slide to secure that the sample is that the, the sample that we need to have is in the slide so yeah it is now ready for the examination of the egg so the same thing with the other slide so you need to, to do the same uh, procedure and make sure that you have uh, an enough sample uh, in order for, for an effective uh, examination of interobius vermicularis. Alright, so now that you understand the process of preparing all the materials that we need for the collection of the interobiasis egg, Please don't forget to place the sample inside the plastic bag and place it inside the envelope to send to the laboratory. And of course, please don't forget to perform a proper doping at the same time. Please secure that all the materials that you use like the mask, the gloves, and the head cap is placed properly on infectious container. And finally, Wash your hands, sanitize everything, and making sure that everything is safe. Thank you so much for your time, and thank you so much for listening. God bless, stay safe, and best of luck, future R&Ds. Bye-bye.